video we're going to be looking at Cardano they just released their next stage which is Shelly it's now being launched so big things going on here we're going to be looking at the technicals we're going to be looking at what Cardano is and we'll be looking at some news announcements that they did during their live summit so buckle up and let's get the show on the road Um, so before we get started, of course, this is good. this is my opinion. Do your own research. Um, take what I said with a pinch of salt. Uh, and obviously, there might be things I miss out. So again, do your own research to find out everything that you need to about the project. Um, and enjoy the video. What's going on, guys? This is Yixia Magna Crypto, and welcome back to another video. So let's get right into it. First and foremost, what is Cardano? Now, Cardano is a proof of stake blockchain platform, the first to be founded on peer reviews research and developed through evidence based methods. It combines pioneering technologies to provide unparalleled security and sustainability to decentralized applications, systems, and societies. With a leading team of engineers, Cardano exists to redistribute power from accountable structures to the margins to individuals and to and be an enabling force for positive change and progress. So in a nutshell, they're a proof of stake blockchain, a very secure, very sustainable and very scalable. And they've got this special protocol called Ouroboros, um, which allows them, allows it to sustainably scale to global requirements without crucially compromising security now i don't want to this video is not necessarily about going into detail into every aspect of what cardano is but i just want to give an overview of the tech and, and why i think it's going to do very well in the future um, but if you want obviously you can check out the website and go into detail into what every aspect of cardano is and why it's so secure uh, why it's, it's going to be sustainable etc etc so if you look at cardano's roadmap and by the way i love the themes that's going on here the artistry um looking at these figures i won't be i'll be honest with you i don't know who they are but i just like the artistry going on here it looks very classic very timeless very um a renaissance um just got a lot of, you know when you've got these kind of themes it just it, it helps it just gives it another dimension um, and it's always good to to do these things because when people are, are looking at it again this is such a small thing but just to see the artistry and the time they took to actually give these stages um, these little themes it creates like a, an atmosphere it creates a mood uh, whether they're trying to create the mood of, of timelessness of, of something classic uh, I'm not sure but it's got a good vibe to it. Obviously, it's not it's the, the important part is the content. But it's always nice to 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 also give time and focus on design on themes because it is going to be a community driven project. So, you know, and we appreciate good design and good covers. So the first project, the first stage, Byron was about building the foundation, about actually getting the project to, to its mainnet launch so that you can buy and sell ADA. It was about building the wallet. Um, I believe it's called Daedalus. Yeah, so it's about building the wallet and just and just building the community overall. So now that they established that, they're able to move on uh, as well as you know actually building the tech for the next stage, they were able to move on to Shelly, which they've just launched right now. So you can see just the kind of the metrics, you know, 490,000 community members, um, 61,000 answered support tickets, 23,430 GitHub code commits, and 15 code releases. So this just shows the amount of work they've put in since um, this throughout this stage of Byron and to get to the next stage. It shows the amount of dedication, the amount of work they put into this project. And going into, into Shelly, so this, they've moved on from, from the foundation, building the, just the, the, the infrastructure, to now 
making it decentralized. So that's what this whole stage is going to be about. Moving the, the nodes from being run by the Cardano Foundation to actually being run by the community members and by the network participants. And this will um, make it decentralized. It will make it more secure um, as it will be run by actual network participants. And this is just the next stage of their uh, development. As you can see out of five stages, um, again, it's, it's, it makes such a big difference when the roadmap is simple and easy to understand. Um, so, you know, high, massive points for that. Obviously, this is going to be a gradual step, as they said. It's not going to be a case of, you know, it's launch and now we're going to be decentralized. It takes time um, to do these things to shift from centralized to decentralized. Uh, th another thing they're going to be introducing during this stage is delegation and incentive schemes. So it is a proof of stake. So they'll be introducing staking pools um, and also um, if you own ADA, you can delegate your, your staking abilities to a staking pool and you'll still get uh, paid for that. Um, and this is going to be a massive incentive for everyone to get involved in the network. And by the end of this um, era, by the end of this stage, it's going to be a lot more decentralized. They said it's going to be about 50 to 100 times uh, more decentralized than any other large blockchain network. This is looking very, very exciting um, that they've moved now to the next stage. I've really have got high hopes for Cardano um, and we'll get into that uh, just a little bit more into the video. So part of the reason why I've got high hopes for Cardano is because not only have they got a great project, um, but the use cases for me is always, and for most investors, is going to be not only the potential, but are they actually doing something with that potential? And Cardano actually has a lot of use cases, some of which it's actually begun putting into practice. So these are just some of the examples of the use cases they're looking to they're looking at um, actually implementing their technology too. So they're looking to get into education by using their product Atala Prism. They're looking to get into retail um, by using Atala Scan. So it's looking to get into agriculture by using the product Atala Trace. And we'll get into that in a second because it's actually moved forward with this uh, government. And this is with their Prism, that digital identity solution finance, healthcare. Um, so it's got a lot of different use cases that it wants to apply its technology to. And we'll get into which ones it's actually started already. Um, and here is a very cool mind map that I, f I found um, on Cardano wiki.info, which goes to show just the breadth that they've got their hands into. So this is the, the membership and collaborations. So all the universities and standards um, so the universities here and the standards um, that they got their hands in. Um, and this is very important to be involved in so many different associations um, and different organizations because it'll, it will be able to, to apply its technology to these different organizations and associations and to develop its tech with all these kind of universities and R&D uh, departments. And some of the partnerships that they've actually signed, again, you know, you could, you could have the fanciest technology in the world, but if you're not actually doing anything with it, if you're not making strides with it, then it's just fancy tech. It's just, it doesn't, if it doesn't do anything, if it's not going to be applied for, to any solution, then it's pointless. And you can see Cardano actually has made a lot of partnerships uh, and it's being used in different aspects, again, which we'll go into which we'll go on to in a second. Um, all the exchanges that it's available on, all the different um, cold storage devices that you can put it on, the main ones being Ledger and Trezor. Um, and again, yeah, it just you can see the extent to, to which it's being applied to. So going into the use case again, you can have the fanciest technology in the world. With the, with the lights and all the features, but if it's not being used, then it's pointless and it won't actually go anywhere. 
And that's a lot of the cryptocurrency market is at this point. It's a lot of fancy tech without many use cases. Um, so getting into the actual use case, so Cardano actually, this is this is somewhat about a year old. Uh, Cardano founder launched enterprise blockchain framework in collaboration with Ethiopian government. Um, so it now a launch of an enterprise blockchain framework that aims to provide financial services to billions of people living in African countries. While we have several MOUs signed, the most prominent of which we're going to build is a utility currency for Ethiopia's capital Addis Ababa. We are working with the Ethiopian government to create a new digital payment system that will allow 6 million users to pay their power and electric bills with cryptocurrency. We want to eventually combine this with an identity card. So going back to the use case, you know, they're looking to get into government as well as finance. Um, so they're going to be doing that with the Ethiopian government, but don't forget that they said they have several MOUs signed. So there's going to be other looking that they've got probably things going on with other nations in Africa, um, which will, could come out in, at any point. You know, they could be in development. We don't know, but it's come out with Ethiopian government, a massive country with I think 90 to 100 million um, people. So if they can actually, if they can uh, demonstrate the effectiveness of their technology with e Ethiopian country and government, then obviously that's, uh, that would be a massive successful test. And then you know, other nations or organizations, organizations will be looking at Cardano with, you know, in a positive light and looking to implement their technology. So that's one use case that they've actually got into Again, it's all about use cases. It's not only about fancy tech. And then next, Indonesian Blue Corinchi Coffee launches traceability solution based on blockchain. Going back to their actual use cases, um, agriculture, supply chain tracking. Again, it's not only you know concepts actually looking. They're actually implementing this. Um, so you know. This was this year, April. So blockchain tech firm Emergo Indonesia has launched a strategic partnership with Blue Corinji Coffee, a leading Indonesian coffee brand, to roll out its highly anticipated project branded as the Emergo Traceability Solution. The newly launched initiative will serve as an innovative enterprise-grade solution centered around the use of blockchain technology in modernizing the tra traditional supply chain traceability standards. It aims to benefit all the participating parties by bringing added value to the stakeholders of the supply chain network and the end consumers. Emergo will leverage Cardano's highly efficient blockchain expertise into the network to improve, to, to increase the visibility and in streamlining the purchasing prices between the stakeholders. The purchasers of the coffee need to scan the QR QR code displayed on the coffee shop to get all the information about the origin of their favorite coffee. And by the use of Emergo Traceability Solution, the Blue Corinji coffee brand aims to give the farmers a genuine share of profit, which often is lost due to market price manipulation by the big industry players. So, again, use case in practice. Um, so which is fantastic to see not only is cardano fantastic high grade proof of stake blockchain it's actually being used by um different companies so you know the more companies use it successfully the more people will jump on uh, to use it and l lastly in terms of use cases cardano partners with scan trust so this so this partnership is about similar to the um, Blue Corinji Coffee, this is to do with the supply chain and traceability and logistics. So the partnership is going to be focused on that. Um, the proof of concept will be looking to, to tackle that. And yeah, that'll be it on use case. So the point that I'm trying to make is it is all about use case these days. So we've had enough time to develop these projects um, for them to show what they can actually do in the real world. So Cardano has done that. 
it's demonstrated that it's actually been used by a few different organizations and so this is a massive tick in my box um, fantastic to see this and I'm sure more developments will be coming out soon moving on to the next point um, as to why I think Cardano is a great project is it's got a very charismatic trustworthy uh, leader in Charles Hoskinson um, you know you can see he's got a lot of followers but he's very vocal about different issues going on in the world he's very passionate about helping people um, if you compare him to someone like Justin Sun from Tron it's you know you know light and day difference Tron is seen as more untrustworthy it's a bit of it's not nice to say but a bit of con artist um, in that he kind of tricks people um, announcements upon announcements whereas Charles you can see is a very honest um, actually cares about the people and making a difference in the world and also he's obviously an intellectual so this all is very important in attracting developers into the community so that they can actually build uh, within the community because that's why Ethereum is such a great project not only because of its smart contract capabilities and stuff like that because it's 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 become so cool for developers to jump on that it's a very um, community of developers. It's one of its massive um, attributes. And so this is, um, and it's funny, obviously funny enough, Charles Hoskinson co-founded Ethereum. So it's important to, to have a leader like that um, leading the, the, the ship so that it can attract all these developers to the project. Uh, which has already done so, it's a massive community, but still going forward, you need that leader in place. Um, and secondly, as I touched about it, his experience, you know, co-founding Ethereum, you know, this is massive experience for, for the leader of um, Cardano, the fact that he understands where Ethereum went wrong, so that, and he's implemented those into Cardano, the fact that it's much more scalable, much more secure, and you can actually, its ability to upgrade, to get better as time goes on, it's not static, it, keep, it can keep getting better and better. So again, this experience that it's got, you know, is it could be the difference in the long term. Um, it's not a guarantee, because Ethereum is hugely popular, but it's massive advantage at the same time. So, you know, for me, the fact that Charles is leading the ship is, is a massive, massive thing um, to have a leader like that. Um, captaining the ship is huge. You know, without a good leader, you, the projects can't go anywhere. Um, so I want to make that point. And next we have some recent developments after its um, launch of Shelly. Cardano developer IOHK launches a $20 million fund for ecosystem startups. Um, the fund has a broad re remit to invest in startups and early stage of businesses that use Cardano and offer um, tech initiatives such as enterprise blockchain, blockchain Atala, which as you saw, it's it's been doing work. Uh, comments will range between 250K to 500K for either equity or token stakes. Uh, the C fund is a 50-50 venture uh, and the other 50 being provided by Wave. So this is huge, the fact that they're providing capital to jumpstart this even more so. They've already proven their use cases somewhat, but it's not enough. They want to develop much, much more. So they're providing a big budget to innovate, um, to create different dApps and, you know, which is you need that you need to jump start the ship you can't uh just expect developers to do this for free they need to be paid um to to create projects to give up their day jobs so that can they can build um so this is very important absolutely uh again could be the the difference going forward every project needs investment and so now they're investing in projects to build on on Cardano so this is going to be fantastic to see going forward to see what 
different projects uh, different developers come up with. And because I have a, a large community, I'm sure this money will go to good use and great projects will be built using this money. And the second announcement that came out with the live summit with the launch of Shelly is Coinbase Custody is going to, to support secure Cardano staking. Again, with the delegation and incentives that will be coming out with Cardano, I think in August, Coinbase have signed from Q4 2020, users will be able to stake the ADA tokens from inside Coinbase's cold storage. Um, and Cardano's staking protocol Shelly is expected to come online, um, come online late this month with staking rewards beginning in mid-August. So obviously Coinbase with its large user base uh, and its ease of use, this is going to be fantastic um, to give people on Coinbase the ability to stake um, securely. Just because, you know, you want to remove as many barriers as you can to staking for people to get rewards for this. And um, Coinbase is probably the most universally popular exchange. Um, so fantastic, again, update to see. And also going forward, you know, when the next bull run really kicks into gear and more people uh, climb on board again, Coinbase is going to be probably the first thing they'll sign up to. So if if they have the ability to stake on Coinbase, obviously this well this could be another uh, reason for investors, new investors, to to purchase more Cardano, as they'll be able to stake and make and, and gain rewards from it. So very very big announcement. And now to the technical analysis. So Cardano has had an absolutely smashing. Um, has responded very very well to the COVID-19 crash um, I believe it ascended by th almost 300% um, since then and now testing a resistance level at 10 and a half cents um, the, next the next point of resistance is the high that was made in June 2019 at about 11 and a half cents uh, I'm not sure how long this run will continue because it is quite a strong run it might run out of fuel soon if so then we have a strong level of support um, over here around six six about six cents and, and, and some change um, you can see here that we had support just in that area then also it tried to break, it turned into resistance at one point, resistance again, and you can see that it spiked into this area earlier in June last month. So that could be a point of support if it starts to turn around. Um, and then the next level would be around just shy of five cents. Yeah, just shy of five cents. Um, but it's looking very good, uh, in my opinion. You can see the strong, it's, it's, it's remained, its volume has remained quite strong throughout the time. And that's very important, the fact that volume is good. So I think um, as time goes on, uh, as more people enter the market, I'm sure we'll be able to smash these targets, uh, the next level, and, and continue on to new highs. Um, at the moment, as I said, I don't know how long it will continue. It's going to have to retrace at some point. It might be the next level of resistance past this, which is 11 and a half cents. Um, and then we could see a retrace back to one of these levels. I'm not too sure. We'll have to see. I've marked out the levels just in case. Um, but that's where I will uh, end this video. Just to summarize, um, you know, Cardano is a fantastic project and it's not just a shiny technology. It's actually being used and now it's entering its next stage um, of Shelly. It's now looking to become fully decentralized and actually take it to the next level, become more secure and more sustainable. Um, so I think, you know, the only way is up for Cardano really. Nothing more to say. Hope you got value from this video. 
Peace.